Okay, I thought I would show uh, this uh, this battery powered fuel transfer pump. Ba basically, uh, any can that has the the thread that fits this, which I think is pretty general. There, there, you know, you're going to be able to find some that don't fit and some that do. Basically, what it's going to allow you to do is to simply uh, uh, transfer fuel to, uh, for instance, a generator. I've told you that a good percentage of the time in Texas, the generator may be required during at least a couple of months to keep the AC going or, or anything along those lines. All that stuff is to be determined later and how I'm going to handle that. But in any case, this will be an easy way to get a fuel supply and transfer it to a, uh, to a generator. Uh, thanks to the nozzle there and thanks to the control you've got without wasting it everywhere Because whenever I load gas into a generator unless I use a special can and I've got a special can that works pretty good It, it just spills all over the generator and I have to spend half my time wiping the generator off before I get it started So uh, I had an intro to this video. I'm not sure if I'm going to create another one If it is you'll see it in the beginning if not you'll just see the two things I've got here to show you Hey guys, I didn't get off well, I got more than this, but uh, <laughs> I am in enough trouble keeping my subscribers interested in the stuff I show them already. So I'll have to just sort of partition this out over a bit. Uh, anyway, I did get some of this Anoiko uh, sound deadener. Uh, I'll put a link above. I created a little sound box for my generator, one of my generators, uh, using this material. So I really did think... That it's going to be real good for putting on the at least the bottom of the van. Uh, I think I've got about 50 square feet here. Now, there's no such thing as having too much of this stuff because I could just run it up the walls. And if I do have a bulkhead, uh, you know, separating the passenger side from the cargo section of the van, I can just run it up there, you know, just to make it a little bit more sound, if not soundproof, less sound. <laughs> Not sound less, but less sound. So, uh, you know, so I thought this would be pretty good. It's not that cheap, but like I said, there's no way you can buy too much. You can only buy too little, and then you can add what's needed to get the job done. If you buy too much, you just add it to the walls or something. Now, I'll put this on the floor, but it's not going to be insulation, so to speak, though it does have insulation qualities to one degree or another. So it may depend on how the van is, is set up, whether or not this would be sufficient insulation. But I am prepared to put another, at least thin layer of insulation on top of it. So that would make it a, a, a nice addition. So that's uh, one of the things I got. Uh, can I think of anything else that might interest you? Nah. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll have some more videos uh, that I'll be coming out with. Um, you know, I'm... I'm about to pull the trigger on the van, but like I say, I am, uh, I've said in other videos, if you see it's separate, it doesn't make it, doesn't make any sense at all, but I'm on call, so I have to stay within about four or five miles of home, so I can rush back to the phone in case I'm needed, uh, and this is not on call like a doctor on call, this is an on call where I have to go periodically out there and monitor systems, so even at that, I've got to, I've got to go out there, so, you know, I'm sort of, it's sort of like being on duty rather than being on call. In any case, I will uh, check you later uh, with some new stuff. And I've got uh, an update on the uh, channel. Uh, I, I have not been doing much detecting lately. But if you've been watching this channel, you've been seeing what I have been doing. I've been emptying out trash, emptying out garbage. I even gave away all of my, well, 80% of my automotive tools. Uh... Probably more like 95% of my automotive tools. I think I might have a funnel and a and an and oil change equipment set up that I keep. But that's about it. So I, it's been just, I've been trying to get this place down. Uh, so now I'm at, uh, at one of the latter stages. I'll talk about that later. In any case, that's all I've got. And I will uh, talk to you later and uh, see how things progress. Hopefully one of these will be announcing the beginning of the van build. Uh, hope springs eternal.